And today begins the 50th commemoration of our war in Vietnam. We honor each of those names etched in stone. 58,282 American patriots. It's here we feel the depth of your sacrifice. And here we see a piece of our larger American story. Our founders, in their genius, gave us a task. They set out to make a more perfect union. And so it falls to every generation to carry on that work, to keep moving forward, to overcome a sometimes painful past. And one of the most painful chapters in our history was Vietnam, most particularly how we treated our troops who served there. You are often blamed for a war you didn't start when you should have been commended for serving your country with valor. When you came home, I know many of you put your medals away, tucked them in a drawer or a box in the closet. You went on with your lives, started families, and pursued careers. A lot of you didn't talk too much about your service. This is what this 50th anniversary is all about. It's another opportunity to say to our Vietnam veterans what we should have been saying from the beginning. You did your job. You served with honor. You made us proud. So here today, it must be said, you have earned your place among the greatest generations. At this time, I would ask all our Vietnam veterans, those of you who can stand, to please stand as we say those simple words which always greet our troops when they come home from here on out. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Thank you. We appreciate you. Welcome home.